So the Nibby 24 millimeter outperformed the 28 millimeter D-slide carb on the Tillerson 225. So the only thing I've did to the Tillerson 225 so far is a pit bike exhaust, a 40 rear sprocket, and I replaced the VM22 carb for a 28 millimeter D-slide carb. And the D-slide outperformed the VM22 by a couple miles per hour top speed. So this time around, I'm gonna replace the 28 millimeter D-slide with this 24 millimeter Nibby carb and then I'm gonna take this bike out for a zero to 30 and top speed, and we'll see if the 24 millimeter Nibby will outperform the 28 millimeter D-slide. So right now, this Nibby has a 120 main, which is the same main that's in here. And then this one has a 35 pilot. So we're jetted up here for 3,700 foot elevation. So I think it's probably jetted pretty close. This is for the Predator 224. So I think it'll probably work pretty good on here. So they turn off this fuel. It's nice having that shutoff valve on there. And I think the slide cable end should be about the same size. It seems like all these slide carbs pretty much a couple inches out of the um, cable end and they work just slide off of here Get this cable end off of here yeah it's gonna be a super easy swap pull off this intake or this half of an intake. All right, so we already got a gasket. I was wondering if the Nibby would clear everything with this chain guard right here, but it actually does, perfect. Man, the Nibby just barely clears it down there. That's nice for the um, chain guard. Now I'm gonna pop on this slide. Install this nibby end on here. Yeah, I like these flange carbs, man. They're nice because they're really solid. Instead of just being installed with a rubber hose. Throw the washer on here. And the slide on these is super easy too. Yeah, that was the easiest swap ever. Get throttle. Sounds like it. Pull the air cleaner off just to make sure. Throw this fuel on here real quick. Pull this air filter off here real quick just to make sure I have full throttle. Oh, yep. Perfect. All right. Yeah, that was the easiest swap ever. Literally only took a couple minutes. So it'll be interesting to see if the 24 millimeter will outperform the 28 millimeter. Okay, there we go. We'll take her out for zero to 30 and top speed and see what it does. I did a 3.81 right now. Let me see if I can do that again. Just like back that up. Second attempt, zero to 30. 
Nibby, 24 millimeter Nibby, Tilson 225. Yeah, 3.47, which is still pretty darn quick. Let me see if I can back that one up again. See if I can do a 3.47 again. That was like four tenths quicker. Attempt, 030, 24 millimeter Nibby on the Tilly 225, receiving beat 3.47, 030. Still pretty darn quick. The 28 millimeter D slide outperformed the 24 millimeter Nibby on the Tillerson 225. So with the 28 millimeter and the 40 rear sprocket on the bike, the bike did 3.34 zero to 30 and 57.24 top speed. Then I added the 24 millimeter Nibby and it lost about a tenth of a second, 3.47. So it's a little bit slower, but not much. And it lost a few miles per hour top speed, 53.46. To be fair to the Nibby, I'm using a 24 millimeter versus a 28 millimeter. So if I ran a 26 Nibby or a 28 millimeter Nibby, the results probably would be different. 